What's up, world? This your boy, your one and only Money Moves with your boy, Mel 2.0. On this YouTube channel, every day we strive for financial excellence so you guys can live a better and prosperous, financially free tomorrow. As you guys know, on this YouTube channel, we talk a lot about a multitude of topics from vlogs, from your city to my city, current events, money, relationships. But we mainly talk about relationships on this YouTube channel because every man knows that who he chooses to have an intimate sexual relationship with will have a high impact on his financial status. So, at the topic of today, in today's topic, we're going to be discussing that black women think that the white man or white people are controlling black men. And then controlling the power struggle b between black men. So we're going to discuss this topic. Um, so guys, um, I just want to thank everybody who's been rocking with me since day one. All my subscribers, you guys have subscribed to this YouTube channel. been sticking with me since day one. Just want to thank you guys. And if you ain't subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And thumbs up this video. So, power. Like my boy Kanye West said, no... One man can have all this power. And that's facts. Black women, I am so sick of black women talking about uh, you can't do it because the white man running everything and um, you don't do nothing. The white man is, the white man that. And then I heard black guys um, talking about foreign people coming over here getting loans and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? This is all lies. All lies. Okay, first of all, there's nobody holding you back. Black women think that there's some mysterious person that is keeping a black man down and making black man less valuable to them. But in all reality, when black women say something about white man uh, preferring, like commenting that it has something to do with black man, she's just doing that to downplay you. Like most black women like to downplay brothers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she says we're dusties, this and that, but she would diss you, but you pull up and she figure out you got a Lamborghini, she's going to be right back knocking at your door. You know what I'm saying? So these are just tactics they use, you know what I'm saying? But there's nobody holding you back. Nobody. If you got a job and you're not making that much money and your expenses is more, your expenses is more than what you're bringing in, then that's your fault for not cutting your expenses and budgeting your money. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think, a lot of people think that there's something holding them back when the only thing that's holding them back is themselves. You can't rely on black women, period. You can't rely on women, period. But you can you could not rely on black women, period. Because there are women, a black woman is a woman. And she's going to tell you anything to validate her not wanting to mess with you because you do not. You, she's looking at you like you do not have enough money for her to even mess with you. And yes, fellas, most of these black women are gold diggers. They're, if you had it and you had the big house and the car, they'll get with you and have a whole list of things that they want you to do for them. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody holding you back. Nobody. People can be racist. Or people can think they're racist and think, even white people, they can think they're racist and think they're holding you back, but they're not holding you back. You want to know why? Because you have freedom. You have freedom. It's not like the 1700s, 1600s in America where you can't get a job. This is the most profitable time in human history. You have the opportunity to go get a job, make income, to do what you will with your money. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, is that 
most black men, when they get their money, most of them are not doing, they're mismanaging their money. And that's where the issue is coming in. Uh, they are mismanaging their money. They're getting their check. They don't have no type of financial goals. They don't know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Besides, do what they think they want to do with their money. A black one, this goes for black women too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black women have mortgage loans, credit like five, six credit cards at the minimum, and they're broke. They're living paycheck to paycheck. It just looks like that. You know what I'm saying? It makes them look, it makes them look like they're financially successful when they're actually not. So there's nobody holding you back. The only person holding you back is you. Let me say this again. The only person holding you back is you. You have a responsibility when you make any type of income, whether you're selling things, you're trading things for money, like your personal values for money, and you're accumulating the money that's in your possession. You have the opportunity then to either save it, invest it, put it in the right direction, or give it back away. And like I said, that's the issue with a lot of us. That's what a lot of us are doing. We're getting it and giving it away. We're getting the money and we're giving the money back away. You know what I'm saying? When then we should not be doing that. We should not be getting money and giving it away. We should be investing in credit cards. Investing in cars, getting a car loan, paying off your bills, you know what I'm saying, building up car credit, building up personal credit, building up business credit, you know, the black woman will make it want to make you think that it's the white man holding you back when it's not nobody holding you back, and also a black man, they might want to think that white man is doing this, white man is doing that, white man is this, there's nobody holding you back. The problem is, is that most of us have been poorly educated on the facts of money and how to utilize money and what to do with money. So, with that being said, that's all I got for this video. Like I said, man, I appreciate you guys for thugging with me. All you guys have been thugging with me since day one, um, keeping it real with me. I appreciate you guys. For, uh, uh, so, that's all I got for this video, man. Appreciate you guys. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe and thumbs up this video over and out.